All right. All right, all right. All right, all right. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So a number of years ago, my sister had shared with me that she was reading a book to her oldest son uh, as they're getting ready for bed. The book was called Hatchet by Gary Pulse, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with this story. It's the story of a 13-year-old boy named Brian Robeson whose plane crashes in the North Canadian wilderness, and he finds himself in this wilderness trying to, needing to survive and needing to get his, make his way back to civilization. So as my sister, who's like incredibly tough, like she's a, she's a type A, awesome, like just really strong person. As, anyways, as she was reading this book to her oldest son, they got to this point where, and it says this, he says, when he sat alone in the darkness and cried and all was done, all done with it, nothing had changed. His legs still hurt, it was still dark, he was still alone, and the self-pity had accomplished nothing. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was at this moment that my sister closed the book and said, did you notice that? Pay attention to this. You're crying, your self-pity doesn't do any good. So this, this reveals a little bit about the family of origin in which I was raised. And there's something good about this. In fact, there's something absolutely necessary about acceptance of our situation in order for us to grow. Here's what I mean. How many times am I talking to someone in the course of, I mean, course of a day, course of a week, and, and what they're doing is, is that they're saying, well, no, here's the deal. I'm like this, therefore I'm stuck or my wounds defined me. What I'm struggling with is just, it means that I can't have, make any progress. Um, and so what we do typically in our spiritual lives is our first movement is to deny it all, to ignore it all. Yet, one of the first movements of the spiritual life is to accept yourself. There's a priest, his name was Father Romano Guardini. He was just this incredible spiritual master in the church within the last hundred years or so. And Romano Guardini said this, he said, one of the pillars, one of the beginnings of any kind of real spiritual life and any kind of real spiritual growth is this one word, acceptance. That if we're going to go anywhere, we have to accept ourselves. Here's what that means. That means accept the truth about who I am. So yep, with my flaws, with my strengths, with my weaknesses, with the people who hurt me, with everything I'm experiencing, we have to accept who we are. We have to also accept the reality of our situations. We have to accept where we are. We have to accept like what we're in the midst of. We have to accept our situations, our circumstances. Because I can say, I wish I was somewhere else. I wish things were different. And that's real. I just actually got done talking with someone whose spouse just left them. And they are profoundly hurt. And part of their, their, our conversation was, I wish that had never happened. I wish my spouse had kept their vows. I wish they had not left. And that's real, that's totally true. And yet one big piece for them to move forward is to say, okay, I didn't want this to happen, but I have to accept that this is where I am now. So I have to accept who I am, I have to accept where I am. And also this is big, I have to accept where I'm made to go, that I, I'm not made to stay here. That's why Romano Gordini, he actually makes this point. He, he says it like this, I wanted to read it out of here. He says, this does not mean that we should approve of everything and leave everything unchanged. Like, well, I just, that's what's called resignation. Resignation is the end. Resignation is when I say, I can stop moving now because I'm just resigned to, well, I guess this is how I'm gonna be. I guess this is where I'm at. This is if Brian Robeson, that 13 year old boy, was in the middle of the North Canadian wilderness and he was resigned to this, well, I guess I crashed, I guess I'm dying here. He didn't resign himself to, this is where I die, he accepted. Okay, I don't want to be a 13-year-old boy in the middle of the wilderness, but I am. I wish I was a 30-year-old, you know, wilderness expert in the middle of the, but I'm not. I'm made for more than this, and I'm made to get home. So I start moving, that's what Gardini says. He said, I don't leave everything unchanged. I can and should work on myself and on my life and mold and improve it. First, however, I must admit the existing facts. Otherwise, everything else becomes false. You have to understand, if we're gonna have a real relationship with God, I have to admit, God, this is, the, this is the person that I am. I was just recently talking with a young man and he revealed a big part of his heart. He had said that um, he was in prayer and he, this man has experienced same-sex attraction for much of his life. He was in adoration in high school and he was praying in front of Jesus and saying, I don't want this. I wish it was different. I wish I didn't feel this way. And at one point he said, he looked at the Eucharist and he said, Jesus, I accept that I am a gay man and I accept that you love me and I accept that you're calling me to be a saint, to be a chaste, celibate saint. He said at that moment, he experienced so much freedom. Like, this is where I'm at. Okay, this is part of my identity, this is part of who I am. This is part of my reality, but I'm also made for something more. I'm also made to go further. Guardini has this last note, he says this. He says, what gives us the strength 
to accept who we are, where we are, and what we're made for is our confidence in the love of God through Jesus Christ, who loved you and gave himself up for you. That even if there's real brokenness in your life, even if there's real evil in your life, while I was still a sinner, as St. Paul says, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The truth is, you can accept who you are, where you are, and your destiny because of the fact that you have a God who loves you and gave himself up for you. And while we're still broken, while we're still in the middle of the North Canadian wilderness, while we're just a kid stuck somewhere, while we're people who are wounded in situations that are broken, he loved us. That's what we have trust in. And that's why we can accept ourselves and our situation, because we accept his love. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. Thank you.